uh, welcome to the snap interview i am dr indrapal singh uh, please briefly introduce yourself and uh, also tell me on this subject you want to give your snap interview yes the yeah. my na- my name is navi i am from srikakulam district in andhra pradesh i am graduated in 2020 from mechanical engineering from gmr institute of technology in srikakulam uh, um i i did my internship in power plant engineering near my home and uh, from last two years i am preparing for gate exam this year i got good good rank and because of that i got an interview call letter from ecir and today i want to snap interview on heat transfer subject okay so for i i will ask you first question in transfer so suppose i have a big pool of liquid okay then i i am having a drum hot drum okay i am writing it as d okay so it is rotating at a very fast it is rotating at a very high rate rotational speed of drum is quite high okay and the temperature of the drum is 100 kelvin 100 degrees celsius nearly 100 degrees celsius okay okay so guys the temperature of the bath is 20 degrees celsius okay now tell me which heat transfer phenomena will be happening here sir uh, it is in water uh, yes uh, the drum is up to bottom of the uh, Uh, pool are only floating this is a pool bottom it's like a, a roller kept inside the swimming pool okay uh, yeah uh, so as it is inside the uh, water the uh, free convection heat transfer is a one one thing sir free convection free convection natural okay. convection natural convection of heat flow is a one okay uh, uh, as a fluid getting heated it will move up uh, that is one and uh, as it is a uh, comparable high temperature radiation heat transfer also possible okay what is about convection uh, sir uh, actually the convection involves some, some part of conduction convection. okay good so so there is conduction there is i will say a direction instead of convection i will uh-huh. say direction and yeah. then there is radiation so i uh-huh. want to find out out of conduction and direction uh-huh. which one is dominating here how will i find out uh, sir for that uh, we will take uh, sir we will calculate gross of number Uh, if gross of number is uh, too less, then uh, we can uh, uh, think that uh, the heat loss because of uh, free convection is less, and uh, we can go with uh, radiation as uh, higher quantity. Okay, tell me what is gross of number? The gross of number uh, uh, is the uh, uh, ratio of uh, buoyancy force to viscous forces. Okay. Uh, if you are Comparing buoyancy force and viscous force. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. How sir. are you getting the relation between conduction and direction? Ah, uh, sir, if gross of number is more means sir buoyancy forces are more. Ah, uh, buoyancy forces are more means the fluid getting heated up. From surface, the heat is coming coming to fluid. Okay. Sir, when when ah uh, when buoyancy force is there, the fluid will move. Ah. Uh, because of the density difference fluid will move so that heat will be carried away okay okay uh, do you know one something about force convection ah yes sir natural convection and ah, there yes. is one thing called mixed convection ah mixed convection yes sir okay ah. so how will i differentiate in bit, uh, between these three how will i come to know whether the flow is in Post convection, pre convection, or mixed convection. Uh, sir, 
sir in grass of number uh, uh, not in grass of number sir now we will mix grass of number and nasal number sir okay then what uh, will be the uh, then we will that? when we multiply those two numbers then we will get a new dimensionless number uh, okay um, uh, actually sir if influence of gyanchi is more means it is a free convection if influence of velocity is there at the heat transfer then uh, we uh, we will consider it as force okay because of fluid motion if uh, heat is transferring then uh, actually there is one one number if it is uh, higher then we consider it as force convection if that the, the this muscle uh, this uh, dimensionless number is less then we consider this as a free convection Okay, so this is the number that we got from uh, Grassio number and Nasser number. Ah. Are you sure about your sir, answer? Sir, there is one number, but uh, those number I I am actually forgotten. But there will be one number uh, which describes whether it is a free or force or mixed. For that, some limit will be there. If it is less than free convection, greater than force convection, okay. in between. Okay, okay. Let's let's do one more experiment. Okay, I want to create one new number. Okay, oh. don't have that number. I want to compare radiation heat transfer with convection heat transfer. Okay, oh. so I want you to do the math. You have two minutes, two three minutes. Try to find out the way. How will you do it? Okay, tell me. I don't want you to do all the math here. I just want you to you to me you to give me an idea. How will you generate a new non-dimensional number which will compare radiation and convection? Okay, see you. Sir, I have a small idea here. Sir, uh, uh, when coming to dimensionless number, uh, we will divide two parameters uh, so that if number is high, the influence of a numerator is high. If number is less, then the influence of denominator is like that, sir. Now I will take a dimensionless number uh, which is equal to Q convection divided by Q radius. Hmm. Uh, this is a dimensional number, less number. Now, sir, if this number is less. Uh, no, means, no. Uh, no, no, no. Let's come back to my first question. If I want to compare which is which one is dominating, convection, how will you do it? Do it again now using the same way. Uh, sir, if uh, this dimensionless number is uh, far greater than one, means convection is. Okay. I am now, I am eliminating radiation now. Let's come to conduction and convection again. Instead of radiation, put their conduction. Ah, oh, okay, sir. Okay. Now do the math and tell me which non-dimensional number will you get. Sir, here we will use an absolute number. Yeah, and initially you said Gratian number. Ah, uh, uh, oh, that is yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. Initially I told Gratian number. number describes whether it is convection or yeah yeah very good now tell me now i want to uh, i want you to tell me in this case what will be the value of nasal number i need to know some idea of the value of nasal number in this case Here, as it is fluid, so conduction, conduction, I'm not getting it. Okay, okay, I mean, good. 
now i'm going to to give you the feedback okay from the start first you said graphical number that was wrong okay so to find out which one is dominating out of conduction and convection we need less than number that you have answered in the end of the towards the end of the my questioning now if we go towards uh, the next question i asked you if i want to differentiate between free force and mixed conduction how will i do it so for that you have gracian number and rayleigh number if you remember rayleigh number rayleigh number is gracian number into prandtl number uh -huh. so what, is, what is prandtl number doing here uh, prandtl okay. number uh, what is prandtl it is, sir uh, prandtl number is ratio of nu by alpha sir uh, it that gives importance uh, yeah it okay. gives the importance to uh, thermal diffusivity that is okay but if i have a printer number which is greater than 1 if i have a printer number which is less than 1 or which is equal to 1 what can what will happen physically in the field what will happen in the field physically sir it physically says the boundary uh, thickness about the hydraulic thickness and the uh, thermal thickness thermal boundary thickness very good very good so okay now if i know the knowledge of boundary layer formation for thermal and uh, momentum and i know bouncy and viscous dominance which is dominating out of bouncy and viscous i can comment on whether it is a force fixed or force or free dominance right i can easily comment now in this case you said initially that we will have free convection okay it will not be a free convection because the drum is rotating very at a very high speed it will be a forced convection okay i told you that noise rotating yeah i told now you heard it correctly uh, that, drum will... that statement i did not uh, hear okay, no rotation of the drum okay okay i told it but maybe there is some correction error so drum will rotate uh, so drum so sorry then it will be a natural or free convection if drum drum is then, then it is a then it is a force convection sir it is a force or mixed convection can be mixed convection also depending on the relay number okay okay that's all okay uh, and about the radiation you answer very fine and you got the new number here which may be the mean number okay congratulations okay that's all from my side just think a little bit before answering okay please just uh, utter the word gracian number which was a blender otherwise your interview was fine just uh, be confident and uh, a little bit spend time more on uh, natural convection free convection with you revise your concept over okay okay thank you okay.